In this video, I like to talk to you about pros and cons of living in a homeowners association controlled neighborhood. Uh, homeowners association, also short for HOA, um, is a thing here in South Florida, I guess, not just in Florida, but uh, there's a lot of properties here that uh, are in HOAs and I'd like to explain to you a little bit uh, what it is about and what are the pros and cons. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you get updates automatically to your phone. HOAs uh, are basically a government for a neighborhood and they're like a little bit like a double-edged sword because uh, they are good things and then they're not so good things. All right, uh, cons and pros. Uh, HOAs are trying to control a lot of things that are going on in neighborhoods. They have a lot of rules and regulations. Here are a couple of them. Parking. They are telling you where to park on the street, on what side. It's usually uh, odd months you park on the odd side where the houses have odd numbers. Even months you park on the side of the street where houses have even numbers. Um, they do that so you don't have to uh, snake your way through a street and uh, let's say somebody needs to call an ambulance or some, God forbid, there's a fire that uh, these guys can easily access and go down the street and uh, go where they need to go. Um, most of them have no overnight street parking and uh, so you have to park in your garage overnight or you have to park in your driveway overnight. Um, most HOA controlled neighborhoods, they have a clubhouse and there is clubhouse parking. There's also no overnight parking on the clubhouse. However, you can talk to management. You could get a pass in some places so you can leave your car uh, at the clubhouse for whatever reason. Um, Landscaping, landscaping of your property, uh, they don't like it if you let your grass grow or if you go crazy on your landscaping, they have rules and regulations for that. Some HOAs don't allow you to have fruit trees in your backyard because they attract critters here in South Florida and uh, most people don't like them. So um, some places have rules and regulations in regards to that. Um, they're telling you what color you can paint your house they're telling you that you have to wash your house, that you have to wash your driveway, um, wash your roof if it's dirty. Um, some have rules already in place that every two years, for example, you have to get your roof washed. They're not going to send you uh, a letter when they see that it's dirty. Um, most of the HOAs, they're enforcing these rules by sending you letters and fining you if you basically don't play by their rules. Um, what else? Some HOAs uh, tell you that you can't park a motorcycle overnight in the driveway. No truck park, not all of them, but some do. No truck parking in your driveway, no commercial vehicles parking in your driveway. So before you buy a property in a HOA neighborhood, make sure you read the rules and regulations because once you closed on this property and you have a pickup truck and they don't allow pickup truck overnight parking, then it's basically too late. All right. Uh, there are also some good things. The All these things that I just mentioned, uh, there is also a good side to that. Um, these things are there to retain property values. All right. So there will be no broken cars in any of your neighbor's driveways. Um, there will be no pink houses. There will be no uh, houses that look funny or has trash laying around and things like that. Because the rules of the HOA are there to prevent these things to happen. Which in return retain property values. And uh, if you're trying to sell your house for example. Uh, you don't have to tell your neighbor to clean up their front yard so you can ask uh, more money for your house, right? Makes sense. Um, the other good things are if somebody is renting out their house, HOAs, HOAs usually want to approve the tenants. So you make sure 
by them doing that, that there's no criminal or no sexual offender moving uh, in the house next to you, for example. The other things are amenities, um, pools, clubhouses, tennis courts, playgrounds for the kids, um, basketball, just to name a few. Some have shuffleboard, um, some 55 plus communities, they're all of them run by HOAs. They have um, things going on in their clubhouse, events and uh, exercises that you can join and stuff like this. Of course, you have to all um, pay for that. You have to pay a monthly HOA fee. Um, there are HOA fees from $25 a month in neighborhoods that uh, are not gated and up to I don't know, thousand dollars a month in neighborhoods that are on a golf course and you can buy a golf membership or they have uh, very nice gyms and so on and very nice clubhouses with restaurants and the clubhouse and so on and so forth. Um, basically, there are HOA fees in some neighborhoods that are crazy. Anyway, um, these are these these are the things in regards to HOA properties. Um, if you're interested in buying, selling, or renting, or investing in a property here in Southeast Florida, please uh, shoot me an email, send me a text, or just give me a call. My contact details are below. Thank you so much. Have a great day.